know, somewhere. Yeah, there he is. That. So I have found a uh, deep-seated appreciation for um, retro Lego sets as of late. And I have these two catalogs, and they're just... Oh, they're just primo 90s Lego uh, aesthetics and just very pleasing to the eyes. So uh, we're going we're gonna to go through them and uh, marvel at all the cool photography from back then. Okay, so I have two catalogs here. I actually don't know what year these are from uh, specifically. I'll like, probably find that out but we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. So we're just gonna start with one of them. I'll start with this one, because I like this one more, just based on the cover. I also haven't really looked through these. I looked a little bit, but not really much. So, but yeah, so um, one thing I really like um, that they do with the covers of these old catalogs um, is they kind of do a crossover thing with all the different themes. So we got a dragon, the, um, Aqua Zone, uh, a uh, an alien robot thing from whatever space that was happening. That's even, that's even a Paradisa girl. I'm pretty sure. Which um, I made a video like a year ago now, looking at some of my like favorite older Lego themes, and I uh, and I really did show a lot of Paradisa. If you remember that video, if you haven't seen it, I recommend. Um, but yeah, I really like the way this cover is done. Um, it's almost like it's like they're in a submarine or something. Um, they have this like nice little uh, portable, and it has those like Lego tube pieces to make the outer thing. It's very cute. I love this. Oh, and they have an Islander. I totally forgot about him. Um, I think this is really cute. Really cute aesthetic. Really 90s. Very, very 90s in just like its aesthetics. Ah, it just makes me so happy. Um, okay, so, so okay. Uh, don't know if that's the year this is, has come out, but you know, that's a pretty good indication of um, when this was uh, probably published. Uh, so let's see, what does it say here? How many times can you find uh, me hidden along these awesome new eight models? Who is that? Well, we'll see if I can we can find him. Yeah, there he is. I found him, I found him. But yeah, okay, this was Aqua Zone, which I believe was the first, um, like, underwater theme. And, uh, wow, they really started off with a bang, huh? So yeah, we got a bunch of these sets. That one is gorgeous. I love the way that looks. The colors of these particular sets look so cool. I, I'm a sucker for, like, really kind of pretty underwater Atlantis kind of esque things and mixing that with like technology, you know, like bright color technology. It's just really cool. I don't know why they all have knives. It's pretty intense looking. They were really getting a lot of use out of transparent colors back then too. I mean like this set alone has transparent orange, transparent blue. Um I definitely know there's some transparent green in here. It's just like, that's a lot. Usually there's like one transparent color. I like this shark guy too. I think that's aqua sharks. Okay, so those are the antagonists. They always have to have an antagonist, huh? Look. Do not put, oh wait. I don't know what that means. Don't put battery powered Lego in, uh, in water. Kids, don't do that. You know how it is. Oh man, so this is this is one of my favorite themes from back then. The castle themes from the 90s are so appealing to me. Um, they are very expensive nowadays. But man, look at that. Oh my god. <sighs> Even that set is very, very, very cool. I'll try to get a good shot of this. I love, love, love the choice they had for the backgrounds of all of the aesthetics of Castle. This kind of like faded, like sunset background is so like perfectly 
nostalgic. I don't know, something about it. They, they chose well. And I love these big piece photography pieces with all this uh, very, like, practical kind of, um, you know, made uh, terrain and everything. They were kind of treating them like miniatures. It's very cool. Of course, they always had one kind of bigger castle they were selling. That's not really a castle, but it has a base plate and everything. And all the big, uh, the big rock pieces like those. I'm sorry about my fingernails. Kind of, I don't have the prettiest looking fingers. I apologize. That's a really nice set too. It's just kind of like a rock formation, but you know, considering these came out only twenty years, thirty years, maybe maybe at the most 30 years, Lego really got a good handle of like how to make something look like a presentable like location. I mean, like that has such a good way of being like a tree on a rock, you know, like a cave. Uh, they just do such a good job. I mean, for the first like 10 or 15 years of Lego, they really didn't have anything like that. So now we have pirates where pirates are invading these native islander people. Um, so we have a big pirate ship, which is like the big one, right? Like the big set every kid wanted. I mean, how much do you think that retail for? Probably way too much money. But now, back then, maybe not. But, you know, nowadays it's worth a ton. <laughs> I love these pirate sets too, obviously. I mean, like, all these sets I'm going to love, so... Just be prepared for me to gush. I have a um, I have a main channel. I do main other things on. For anyone who doesn't know, and I did make a video recently about all these Lego themes and just kind of a scripted video about how much I love all of them. Um, and yeah, I mean I go over a lot of that, so I'm trying not to repeat myself. But I'm probably people watching this haven't seen that. So but just man, look at that some that sunset looking ocean with the just so much playing and fun going on i really do appreciate how vague all these sets are it's very much like oh it's just pirates make what you want like look at that what is going on there who cares like do whatever you want it's lego i like that base plate too with the river and everything i always like stuff like that very nice aesthetic also i love how all the foliage is made out of the Lego pieces. Good detail. I wonder how many they use for that. Oh, now we got Lego Space. Everyone loves Unitron. Oh my god, that thing's probably so expensive. I mean, like, think about, oh my god, that, that is a luxury set. Look at that. It has one raised base plate, a bunch of, like, actual builds, and then an entire, like, you know, monorail system that's got to be one of the most expensive sets in here and then you got big vehicles with you know we got big vehicles with big wheels and you know big transparent pieces pretty sweet and then you have this awesome again just just put it behind a sunset right put it behind a big glowing yellow orange sun I do like these guys with the transparent elements. I gotta get one of those guys. I have a little space display. Maybe I'll do a video where I show off all my Lego sets as well, but I, I, can't, I feel like I don't have a lot, so it probably wouldn't be very interesting. So, you know. Spirus. I don't know what that means, but Giant Max. I love the little drawing of the minifigure in there. That's pretty cute. These are so cool. I love that gradient background. Uh, you know, if it isn't obvious, I'm a graphic designer, so I really love the choices of colors in these. It really is like, it's a time before digital com compositions, so they had to be very practical with how they made things, and this really does show the skill that took understanding that. Yeah, this is another space thing, Ice Planet. Oh my god. Oh my god, what do you think those are made of? I think that's made of, like, I don't even know. It looks really nice, though. Ice Planet's cool. I love the colors. 
the translucent orange is like just really really pops this might be one of my favorite color schemes in a lego set like blue white and transparent orange it's just such a cool combination and everyone loves these the the translucent orange chainsaws like come on that's just so cool and i just love that scene it's just such a cool like in the middle of nowhere kind of like you know feeling oh, it's, just, it's so cool i apologize for the weird kind of back and forth focus this camera i'm not the steadiest person so and then of course we got town so you can see that, I guess that's what the logo for town is. Um, do they have a logo up there? No. That's a cool little raft. So yeah, town is very big. It's just kind of like normal life. And, oh my God. As a kid, I just loved the idea of playing with these kind of dice outside. I was a big fan. As a kid, I was a big fan of little figures. Like this was like the perfect size for me because then the world is so big. Your like playground is huge for little toys like that. So I used to love stuff like this and seeing like just, you know, this little creek. Like I could imagine myself bringing Legos out into the woods in my backyard and playing with them like this. And it just really brings me back. Um, that's really cool. Just a set of like mini figures, just in case, just to populate your town. Um, we got a nice Octan gas station. Uh, that's Lego's fake, uh, like gas company. Hopefully not as crooked as actual, like you know, gasoline companies. Um, so we got a lot of sets like these, where it's like. You know, helicopters, boats, uh, airplanes. Very, I feel like this has a very summery vibe. Like, I just feel like this paraglider is very, like, you know, over the water kind of paraglider. Uh, got stuff like that. That ship comes with a little actual, like, you know, sail thing. I don't know if that's called. Very summery vibes with this one. I don't know when this was supposed to be, you know. Released all this stuff. Oh, we haven't been looking out for that guy, but there he is again. Oh, some space stuff, you know. This is pre. This is before they go to space. This is like when they're like, you know, oh, space is just like the moon, right? And they get there, and it's like ice planet and like spirals. <laughs> These poor Earthlings don't know what they're in for. I. I'm just gonna keep saying it. I love that so much. That like old, I used to love model train sets too. I used to like, um, we used to go to this pizza place around me and they had these big model train sets and they were so cool. Oh my God. Again, just this idea of like little characters in this big world. It just, oh man. Cause it's not like, fool, like, you know, it's not fooling a kid. Like, you know, this feels more like a play set than a, like trying to fool me into thinking it's like reality. Like I just wanted to own this. I wanted to play in this. <laughs> oh man. Some really cool little cars and boats and, and junk. Getting really good graphic design here. The way this is kind of like tilted to the side and the way that's all comp composed is very, very cool. Uh, Really knew what they were doing back then. We got a fire station, a fire truck. You know, it's really cool too. Um, there's a used Lego store near me, um, and they let people come in and build sets that they need to build because they'll get sets like just in boxes and stuff from you know trade-ins, and they they have a lot of inventory, so they'll have they can like you can just come in and build sets for them if you really want. They'll give you some store credit or a discount if you want for it. Um, and the other day I went in there and actually built this set, funny enough, this fire truck set. I was actually pretty impressed by it because it has this, like, ladder that goes really far. Like, it goes, like, at least, like, a foot and a half. I just did not expect that. I thought it was, like, going to go that far, but it probably goes three times the length of what you see there. It, I mean, it makes sense. It's three ladders on top of each other. 
It just kind of was really mind blowing. I like that too. It's a nice little set. Oh, the Lego Dolphin. Classic Lego Dolphin. I still don't have one of those. I have like newer molded dolphins, but um, I'm sure Paradis will be in here. But in Paradis' sets, the dolphin was like in all of them. Yeah, there they are. I like them. They have like tiny little molded eyes. That is such a nice little scene, too. So much going on in it. And that set I actually also have literally right over there. I actually picked it up um, at that used Lego store uh, when I was building those sets the other day. Just kind of fun. That one's pretty cool, too. There's a lot going on there. Got a good look at that pizzeria. I could bring it over here, honestly, but I don't want to get up. Ah, here we go. Uh, the small little... Oh, man, it's not even a full page. Come on, guys. They were not confident in Paradisa. So, I don't have... Actually, no, I do. I have that set, but I don't have any of these ones. I always want that set, but that set is uh, pretty expensive on the aftermarket, unfortunately. Um, and that set's not that expensive, but it's just always hard to justify. I don't think I really have the space for it anymore, so I'm pretty I'm pretty content with what I have for Paradiso, honestly. I have that piece, though, those those stairs. They're, they're pretty iconic. Just like, look at that. Oh, it's so cool. And the pink. I love the pink they choose for Paradiso. It's very pastel and just just fits really well. It's like the main colors are like white, pink, green, and blue, and it just like really works. Like it's a contrast between the really like you know light colors of pink and white and the more you know mid tones of a blue and a green like that. I don't know. It really works. I mean the, the logo kind of sells that like you know pink, green, all that. Very cool. Oh boy. So we have uh, Belleville, which was, so in my opinion, Paradisa is feminine leaning Lego sets done well. It's not like compromising anything. They're just Lego sets, but sort of geared towards a stereotypical girl market. Belleville is the bad side. <laughs> the, um, we are these are not real Legos, and we're not going to treat them like real Lego because girls don't play with real Lego. It's lame. Yeah, there's a page of it. I have it. And then, of course, this is, for, this is for Dad. You know, this is for the dads. The Lego trains. Oh, there he is. Lego trains are pretty cool. I love that old, uh, that old, the old, like, you know, electronic system for making the trains go. I would love to have a Lego train set, but... Where the hell am I going to put that? I barely have room for the Legos as is. We have some more design. The model team. These are more models and stuff. That's actually pretty cool for the time. Again, think about this. This is 1995. That's pretty impressive. And some boats. Yeah. Had to find a spot for the boats. Really float. Nice, nice. Play within the water. I don't care. Oh, boy. And then we have Technic. So... Technic is kind of exactly what you see here. More of axles and, um, and joints and everything rather than, you know, normal Lego system bricks. And you know, it's funny. So they made their own minifigures for these, these little dudes. I kind of like them. They're like weirdly poseable and they kind of fit the aesthetics of Technic. I always thought Technic was a little boring because it is missing that, like, you know, little character element that makes Lego so appealing. I mean, people love minifigures, including myself. Um, so I was always like, oh, that's kind of missing from this, but they have them. They have some Technic people, and they're cute. I like them. I think I would have never gotten Technic as a kid, because it's like, that just doesn't look appealing to me. It's so crazy how much they've changed. If you look up Technic sets nowadays, they are crazy intricate. Join the Lego club and become a Lego maniac. That's how the ads used to play. Look at all those guys promoting what you've built. Very cool, very cool. Canada. I don't care about Canada. Wait. This is Canadian. Oh, no. That's the U this is the U.S. Okay. Very strange. Yeah, Canadian residents.
guess I didn't see this page. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, that was, I guess, 1995, right? Um, pretty cool. We'll do the other one. I'm gonna... So this is that set we just saw in that catalog. How neat. This is the pizzeria and the pizzeria truck. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard because I have to kind of tilt this. But this set is so freaking cute. So these are actually stickers that have probably been stuck on this Lego set since 1995. And they're still fine. So it comes with a, uh, a chef man. A woman about to enjoy a delicious Legoland uh, pizza. It actually has a really cute little... Uh, let's see if I can get this open. Try not to make a loud noise. It has a little pizza oven back here, so you can put the pizzas in there. And he has a little uh, pizza... Um, what are those called? Oh my god, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, oh my god, it's gonna drive me crazy. Uh, I, I, it's on the tip of my tongue, whatever those things are called. Uh, and actually, there's like a little cute little sink piece in here too, if I can get it to focus. Yeah, there it is. Very cool. I really like the kind of the, this, this, uh, uh what do you call it? Wood, or the, yeah, wood fire. Or is it like just brick, a brick oven? The brick oven look with the window here, with the smoke or with like where the smoke would come out of and this is very Italian colored uh, thing here uh, the pizzas are great came with way too many pizzas because in the truck as well so we have a pizza delivery truck the stickers are kind of peeling here um, they're actually in not bad shape considering how old this is almost uh, almost 30 years old that's a little spooky <laughs> um, but yeah we have him and he's got, uh, in here, he's got loads of pizzas in the back. Pretty, pretty awesome, uh, truck idea. I don't know why pizza places haven't done this, you know, have an oven, in the, have an oven in the back of your truck. I mean, what's the, what, what's so hard about that? And then you, right when you get to the, like, the house, you can just take it right out of the pizza oven and be like, hey, fresh pizza delivered right to your door. Kind of an awesome idea. Like, I just came up with that in 1995, and no one's taking advantage of it. But, you know, it, it's whatever. It's, it's whatever. So let's get our friends back here. Get our friends. Look, the skeleton's doing ASMR. And this is, this is the film guy. Except usually the film guy is also the ASMR guy, huh? I don't know why this isn't focusing. That's okay. Joke's over. Anyway, next one. This is, I don't know what year this is. We'll find out when we open it, I guess. I cannot tell you how much I love this cover. It is so simple, but it is so aesthetically pleasing, first of all, with the just, I cannot stress this enough, beautiful composition of colors and everything about this. I would get this as a poster. I love it. It's so quirky and stupid. You know, Lego Night is in front of the train. The train's like, what the heck's going on here? Funny. Colors are amazing. The orange glow of the tunnel lights with the very blue background. The rigid Lego pieces opposed to the more like natural ground and gravel around it. I love it. I love it so much. I, I could gush forever about it. I love it. All right, so. What year is this? Hey, Lego Maniac. Check out all the cool models on the following pages. There, are, These are more exciting new... There are more exciting new items and themes than ever before. I think you'll agree that the building and collecting possibilities are out of this world. From Jack. Look at that. They're in Ensfield, Connecticut. I used to live near there. Uh, so let's see, we got castle, pirates, space, town, boats, train, and model team. So we will, same similar deal as last time. So we got, here you collect each of the castle themes. Okay, so there's sub themes of castle. There's crusaders, forest men, wolf pack, and uh, that one. And 
Black Knight, sorry, I got distracted. Look at that set. Oh my god. Even a little boat. See, my mom used to get me the little sets, like the $10, $5, $10 sets, because I never was able to get, like, bigger sets. I mean, this was before my time, but, you know, this thing, similar to that. And, oh, this is a Tube Raid. Are you ready for this? Two-page spread. So we got all these guys over here fighting, and then we got a bridge going into the foreground, or a river going into the foreground with this bridge going over into a crazy, just hectic scene from this castle. A little ghost in there. Oh, it's just so, so nice. All the Lego trees in the background. And this, I cannot, this was probably all actually done. This was a physical model, one or two of them put together probably. Like pictures, you know, uh, put together, but just so impressive. So we have Forestman Crossing, um, we got Forestman River Fortress, looks like I've, these, it's kind of remind me of like Elden Ring or Dark Souls areas, right? Like, come on, that looks like a, that looks like something you'd encounter in Elden Ring. Oh, these are so cool. Oh, and I can't stress this enough, these are so expensive nowadays. They really are some of the, uh, the Coup de Croix, or whatever the I ever you say that, of retro Lego sets. Coup de Croix, is that how you say it? I don't know. We got pirates, all white meats. Yep, look at that. Similar to the ones we had before. I really do like that one, though. The, uh, the Lego staircase mold into the Lego bridge mold. <laughs> Those would definitely be, like, fully built nowadays. It's okay. I kind of like the fully built stuff sometimes, but the all the molds are nice. Oh, look at the monkey, Lego monkey. Wow, these are all different photos. You know, I was really expecting similar photos, but these are all pretty unique. Wow, that looks so cool. Again, just the vast cave, kind of like the alcove of a cave in the middle of like, a, like near an island where just pirates fight for gold and, and plunder and Engine. I mean, how appealing, right? Also, this one's pretty cool. I've seen this around. Imperial Trading Post. It's like the Imperial area. That's the final boss area. Oh boy, more space. Here we go. Alright, so we have very organized space themes. We got Mtron, Blacktron, and Space Police. Drone force utilizes the power of magnets. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, okay. I, I never knew Mtron was magnet theme. I knew their the I knew their sets used magnets, but I thought that was just like coincidence. Also, can I just say, I'm a big fan of the default smiley face Legos and the kind of like. Um, Usually other uh, faces are like just iterations on the smiley face. Yeah, classic Lego smiley face. Um, this one's a little different, but usually, like for example, uh, some of these knights, like that knight right there, that's just a Lego smiley face with a little bit of like extra pizzazz, like, you know, some hair and some stubble. I think it's really cute um, when they do that. So there's some space police people and black drawn. Recently they remade a black drawn set. I'm curious if it's here. I don't see it. Well, that's this, oh these are just M, these are M drawn. Yeah, so these are all I guess magnet themed. I suppose. I don't know. I never had these. These were again before my time. Blacktron, just pretty cool, very green focused. It's interesting because Blacktron recently had a, a recent one. It was a very red, transparent piece. Uh, so I wonder when that happened. And then you get this awesome. Oh my god, look at that scene. That's so cool. Is there Space Police? Oh, these are Blacktron. These are Blacktron. It's like a bug. I love that piece. That transparent green piece. It's used all over the place. Oh my god. Then we have a bunch of value packs. 
packs. Purchase this special set, with which includes three unique items, and receive a fourth item as a bonus set inside. Wow. That is, like, perfect, though. I mean, think about that. How perfect of, like, a little taste of every theme. You get, like, a city car. This, like, like, I, man, I cannot express that enough. That is a perfect representation of, oh my god, castle, please. Like, what a perfect representation of castle. Just, you know, some weapons, a little structure, a ghost. And then that's like a perfect, you get the palm tree, a little island piece, a monkey, a guy. It's like perfect. It's literally perfect. How could you not want that? Oh, god, yes. Feed it to me, Lego. Feed me the aesthetics. There's some town builds. Attention builders. So my back is kind of... It's been squatting over. So we have nautical stuff. Some boats. We have... Man. Oh my god. This is just like perfect... See, this might be my favorite one, genuinely. I love the way this looks. You know, I was talking about how it's like, I just want to play in these. Like, I just wanted to play in these as a kid. I still want to play in these. What am I, this, what am I saying? If, if there wasn't a social stigma, I'd let my imagination go completely crazy in this kind of setting. I mean, who wouldn't? You're lying if you say you wouldn't. If you had no guilt, if you could have no guilt, just... No conscience. You just could, like, let loose. You could just play with all of this. Play with every toy figure. I don't know, man. I feel like most people would take up that invitation in the moment. I mean, think about how much fun that would be. Come up with stories in your head. <sighs> Nothing's better. It's like a reason I would want to have a kid is so I can do that again. <laughs> gas station thing. Oh, that one's so cool. Airport shuttle. That's so cool. But you need an Imagine having it. Imagine being the spoiled brat kid that has the airport shuttle and the airport. <laughs> like, you got the whole thing. You got the whole... You might as well own an airport. And, oh my god. Another just... Such a cool shot of... Look at all the minifigures. It just must be so much fun to make this composition, too. I mean, like, you can depose all these guys in this uh, big world. Ugh. Oh, man. That's how an adult can still play with Legos and not feel guilty, right? Boats. And then some trains. These trains are so retro-looking and cool. I love it. Imagine how cool that would be to get a big Lego train set for Christmas or something. I love the boxes of the train sets, too. I love that, like, ridiculous-looking, like, orange tunnel, like, with the with the gray stripe. Oh, man. They had it, dude. They knew what they were doing. And we have model team. So another truck and big, big trucks and cars and Technic and big kid stuff who cares right no, I'm kidding some people really like these and I can totally see why I do kind of like that helicopter is really simple but it's pretty cute I was just gonna say is this be I think I've established that this is before the other catalog we were looking at but I wasn't sure if this was before they made their technic figures but it doesn't look like it alright so, so what else you could get I feel like I used to have that, or I knew someone with that. Did I, I feel like I might have. I don't know. That looks really familiar. Base plates. Nice, nice. Wheel motors. What else is there? What the heck? Are you kidding me? Hold on. We'll get to that. Oh, hey, brick separator. They still had that back then. I thought that was a newer thing. Nice. Shop at home, 
some stuff. You can just buy individual pieces just in case you uh, ran out, I guess. Pretty cool. Nice. And then this tiny little section down here. Ah, here. You can just take this little corner paradisa. And... Oh, oh, wait. This is a shop at home. So you'd call in and buy this stuff on there. Wow, 35, 20. You know what's funny? Okay, so 35, 25. That's, I mean, that sounds pretty reasonable to me. It's like, tw it's like 250 pieces or something, but it does come with a big base blade, so... I think I spent 36 bucks on mine, and it was missing like one piece, but I was able to get that pretty easily. So, hey, I didn't spend too much far off of the actual retail price. That's, that actually feels pretty good. And then we have some more shop at home stuff. Six minifigures for 650. It's a pretty good deal with all the accessories and everything. I would have loved to see these are the kind of things I know as a kid. You know, I would have gawked at all of this, but at, at the end of the day, if I was like, what do I want, what do I want, what do I want, I'd probably end up getting these, because <laughs> they're so simple, and they're like, what I want, you know, like, building big Lego sets, it's expensive, so it's like, I think I'd rather put my money towards having the characters, and then playing with whatever I can make. Those the Lego signs, that's pretty cool. I wonder, if they, I wonder how expensive those are these days. So, that was catalogs, that was both catalogs. The only two I have right now, but I, I really, really like these, if you could not tell. And I think I want to try to get more of them. They're pretty cheap, from what I can tell. Like, they used to give these out probably like candy back in the day. I kind of want to try to get all of them. Or at least try to get, like, most of them. At least the 90s ones. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, maybe this was nostalgic. It's kind of nostalgic for me. So I really didn't grow up with this era of Lego, you know. I was born in the 90s, like late 90s. So I was not really conscious for this sort of stuff. But I feel like I always sort of knew it existed when I was into Lego in like the mid early to do the mid 2000s. And like I'd always gawk at the older stuff because it was like right before my time, you know. It was like the stuff I couldn't get my hands on now. And it always looked so appealing. And I never quite knew why, but I feel like looking through these really puts into perspective why it's so appealing to me. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was decently relaxing. Uh, it was kind of relaxing for me, honestly. So yeah, until next time, uh, say bye, Lego Skeleton. Bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye.